this is the Wyoming halfback. It's a great little fly I discovered in the United States about 25 years ago. Uh, as the name suggests, it originated in Wyoming. Neighbouring states disagree, of course. <laughs> But there are so many versions now. In fact, this one ought to be called the West Sussex halfback. Um, this is what the original looked like. It's a dry fly, well, sort of subsurface and dry fly. I tie it in the, in the summer on a smaller hook, as you can see, and it works awfully well, especially on dull days. Anyway, we're going to tie the Wyoming halfback, or my version of it, and what we're going to do is we're going to do something. I, last time I tied a fly in stuff number nine, where I told you what I was going to do, and then we did it at very high speed, and I've had a few jolly nice emails to say they like that, so we're going to do it again. OK, so to begin, we are putting a Camasan B830 size 10. Now, that's quite a large hook for this uh, particular fly. I, I tie it in 10s and in 12s, so uh, you can please yourself. I'm doing it large now so you can see it easier. What we do is we put a bump of thread just behind the eye there, and we put a bead on the hook, obviously, and then we put a little bit of super glue onto the thread and push the bead forward. Once we've done that, we reattach the thread, we wind it to the back of the hook, and then we tie in some pheasant tail fibres. Six for the tail and about 15 fibres uh, we, we tie in on top of the tail because that's going to be the halfback which we fold forward. Then we bring the, the thread forward in very nice even turns and we tie in our gold wire and we wind that all the way back to the back of the hook and leave the thread hanging. And that's where I'll stop and that's where I'll show you how the next bit works. OK, here we go. And there we have the first stage. OK, for the second stage, we're going to tie in a saddle hackle, nice even saddle hackle, you see, tie him in. And then we'll make a hurl rope uh, with about six strands of peacock hurl. Now, you may remember uh, back in, uh, I think it was stuff five, I showed you how to make a hurl rope, so I, I, I thought we'd look at that again. Uh, so you could get the idea. So when I come to do it, you'll have two bites of the cherry, as it were. So let's have a look at this making a hurl rope from uh, Stuff 5. This is an idea that came from a guy that used to teach us in Surrey called John Smith. What you do, first of all, is you make a loop. Now, Ian, you'll have to come round and look over my shoulder. So, to make the loop, this is what you do. Over there like that, go round a couple of times, then round the loop to lock it, and then you're ready. We'll, we'll leave the bobbin hanging at this end, and then you take the three pieces of hurl and you lay them in the centre of the loop, like that. Then you take your hook and with your hook you reach on the inside of the left hand side of the loop, you reach over the hurl, you get hold of the other one and you pull down like that. There we are and then very slowly and very majestically you twist. And before you know it you have got an absolutely wonderful even hurl rope. And there it is. OK, got the idea? We're going to tie in the saddle hackle and away we go. And there it is, a great little hurl rope. What we do now is we wind it forward, we tie it off at halfway down the hook, we then wind 
the saddle hackle forward, we tie that off, then we bring the back over and tie that off, and then we wind on top of the back with the gold wire. In the original pattern, they wind underneath, but I want to strengthen that back so that when the little fish get its teeth into it, it won't harm it too much, hopefully. Here we go again. And there's the first half of the fly complete. Now, for those of you who just noticed that I cut the wire with scissors, these are my wire cutting scissors. Always save an old pair of scissors and it save you all that twiddling about. You can just use the old scissors and cut the wire and it uh, doesn't do your good scissors, good scissors any harm. All right, now for the next stage, we tie in another saddle hackle. In fact, what we're gonna do, so we don't waste any, we, you remember the first saddle hackle we, we put in? Well. This will be enough. This will be enough for what we want, which will be a little bit of hackle from there to there. So what I'll do is I'll trim off, give, give ourselves a nice sort of place to tie it in like that. Okay. And we'll also, you'll notice that I saved some of the hurl rope, okay? And we'll use that as well. So just to go over it once again, we tie in the saddle hackle, we tie in the hurl rope, we ride the hurl forward, we ride the saddle hackle forward, we tie it off, we do a whip finish, and we add a little bit of um, glue behind the beads to hold it all together. And then there's one more thing to do after that. Well, I'd like to explain to you when we stop. Okay, here we go. And so to finish off, we put a little bit of glue around the old bead there to make sure it doesn't come adrift. This is very good glue, this is. This is a, has a needle supplied with it. This is um, Giorgio Benici's uh, product. I don't think Giorgio does it anymore, but I know that his daughter does. And um, it's a very, very, very good glue. Now then, one thing left to do, you will notice. There's the back, have a look at the back. And that's quite vulnerable. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of Bug Bond Light on it. My favourite, favourite material for strengthening flies. So we put a little bit along the back here. Keep nice and steady, not too much, just a little bit. And it sinks in and it strengthens it. So when those naughty old teeth start to bite it, it has some resilience. A little bit down there. There we are. Oops. There we go. And then you take your bug bond torch and you give it a jolly good zap like this. Oops. You will know from past um, flyers that I've tied, it's my favorite product. If I were to write a, uh, an advertising line for this product, I would say the first and still the best. Yes, indeed, bug bond light and of course, bug bond original. Jolly good stuff. There we go. The West Sussex halfback, <laughs> based on the Wyoming halfback. Do tie it, do try it, and do please catch a very large fish. Thank you very much. Now, if you'd like to see a lot more flies, a lot more fun, and a lot more of my stuff, go to my website. It's at www.chrissanford.com.